everybody. It's a Peaker for the Losing Large Minute. Thanks for coming on. Hey, I'm the host of the Living Large Show. Losing Large by Living Large. Or Living Large by Losing Large. In any case, we're doing... But anyways, today, what I want to talk to you about is personal development. I say that with a smirk because I want you to know that really what I'm doing is trying to develop your mental health. But I do it by yelling at you and pleading with you and being passionate with you and trying to coach you. But I'm, what I'm really doing... I'm starting a personal development company because the only way that you're going to lose the weight and keep it off is if you think enough of yourself. And most of you, your self-esteem is in the toilet. My self-esteem was in the toilet. I masked it as confidence for years and years and years. I don't mind putting myself out there. I tell the truth. Why? Because I know a lot of you have those issues. Most of you do. If you don't, then you just gave up. So today what I want to talk to you about is getting better, okay? Thinking of yourself in a light where you never thought of yourself before. For instance, I always think of myself, it's how I think of an image, of a beautiful suit, gorgeous white button-down uh, uh, dress shirt, and a sharp tie, shine shoes, 185 pounds. But right now I'm about in the early 220s, I've dropped over 80 pounds. So. And I just bought a beautiful suit a couple of weeks ago. That's not the size I want to be. Okay? But I'm getting there. And it's awesome. And I just feel better and better and better every day. And here's what happens with good self-esteem or bad self-esteem. And this is common sense. I'm no Dr. Phil. I think he's a schmuck anyway. That he tries to solve people's problems in 15 minutes. That's impossible. But who's the dummy? Him or me? He's making 80 million. I'm making 8 cents. But here's the deal. When you get on that... I'll talk to the positive track, because we know in reverse it's the same thing. And you imagine yourself a certain way, and you go for that goal. And you go for that. You get a little more confident, a little more confident, a little bit more confident, a little more confident, a little more confident. The confidence builds a self-esteem. To me, it's like one and the same. You feel better about yourself, you look a lot better. You know, sometimes when I look in the mirror, I can't believe I don't have three chins. I am dealing with accepting the good in my life. Because good stuff is happening. So that means that I'm I, all this work I've been doing on myself, it's starting to pay off. And it could pay off for you too. People want instant gratification. I got some good news about that and bad news about instant gratification. The good news is, you're insane right now. Within a week's time, the insanity disappears. Gone. It's gone. Why? Because somehow you know in your subconscious mind that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So even though things are still tight, and you maybe lost three, four, five pounds, you're on your way. Sanity disappears. Instant gratification. Where it's not instant gratification is getting to your goal. Whether it's 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, I don't care. But again, the esteem and the confidence builds. And then people start to give you compliments. And hopefully you realize for yourself how important it is, how society thinks of you to be on the right path. And you could say you don't care what people think. For the most part, I don't or I didn't and I still really don't. But it matters because it matters on other people to say yes or no or you get a raise or what. You are dependent on other people. We all are. So when you start to develop yourself and gain confidence, you become a much, 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 much better person. Remember this, your positive worth controls your net worth. So, think about that. Your positive self-worth controls your net worth. Because when you look better and say you're in business, you're going to do more business because you feel better. Net worth goes up, paycheck goes up, business goes up. If you're at a job, you're up for promotion, you believe me. If you look good and you feel good, you got a 10 times better chance of getting that promotion or that raise. I don't care what anybody says. human resource person can't tell you that, but I can tell you that because it's the truth. Because they got all these laws. Because a lot of these schmucks, you know, maybe one of you guys are the schmucks that would sue them because you can't say, oh, gee, Ginny, you lick your fingers and you weigh 400 pounds. I'm not giving you a promotion. I'm telling you, Ginny, you're not getting that promotion. Your, your self-worth and your self-esteem and your personal growth is inside, not this way. This is not personal growth. I want to make it real clear.
So this is the Pinker telling you, hey, come on the ride with me. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some laughs. I'm going to tell you straight, and we are going to go to war on weight in this country. That is my goal. And I'm going to get there because I'm just it's burning inside of me how good it's been to me for the short amount of time I've been on this thing. This is the Pinker for Losing Large saying, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Hump day. So long, everybody.